So when we reviewed the New Balance 990 V6, in there I had mentioned that I do actually have a favorite New Balance model. And I asked you guys if you wanted me to make a video on it. A lot of you guys said yes, so this is that video. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and breakdown on my favorite personal New Balance model. It's actually not a basketball shoe, it's a lifestyle shoe, but it's a revamped version of one of their originals, one of their classics, if you will. So this guy right here, most of you guys will know, is the New Balance 574. This is part of their eco line, so this is actually like eco-friendly, made with vegan materials and things like that, even though it doesn't feel like, like this. Oh, it doesn't smell like it, that's for sure. I don't know what the f that smell was. That smelled like, smelled like plants or something. It was weird. Not the good kind of plants. But anyways, this is the 574. Uh, this is kind of like their baseline, everyday, always available type of shoe. So you can find these damn near anywhere for a good price. Usually they're about like 80 to $90 and less. But I don't love the shape of the toes on them. They always look kind of short and stumpy to me. I don't know if it's just me, but like for whatever reason, I'm not a big fan of the toe area. So I've never really liked the shoe overall, even though I like them from a profile view. However, this new version, I love these ones. So these guys right here are now known as the New Balance 574 Legacy. So basically what they've done is they've kind of revamped the model. They've reshaped the tooling to kind of fit in with today's chunkier dad shoe trend, even though I still think that that looks fine. But the toe on these is just a little bit better, I think. And I thought that it was because they reshaped them like completely, but when I put them side by side, they're pretty much identical. It's just the rubber that they have on the toe. This is a little bit wider. So for whatever reason, that visually is making me think that these are short and stumpy looking, whereas this little whatever this is, I don't know, like a little piece of rubber. For whatever reason, this makes the shoe just look a little bit more elongated, a little bit cleaner. So I absolutely love these. They're really comfortable. The regular 574 is hella comfortable, but this one is even better. Not only that, but I grabbed them in a few different colorways. All of them are a little bit different, by the way, so that's a little strange. Like the tongues on this one are more like an original, so it's very thin. It's got a different New Balance logo at the top. The tongue on this gray one right here is a lot thicker. Again, this maroon one is all nylon, so a little bit strange to me but they still have that overall same look the collar is also different too this has synthetic leather this has textile i think this is way more comfortable but this does look cool this one might be my favorite one so this one is built just like this maroon pair so it's got the leather lining the thin nylon tongue the branding all that stuff i think this is part of like the classic version of the legacy so they're trying to like give them that old school feel while still being new i also have this third colorway that is a little bit different than all of those so this one still has the textile lining this one feels more of like a microfiber so that actually actually is super comfortable. Same tongue though, but this one is built with leather everywhere and it's a super soft, nice leather. Like this is that type of shit that you'll get on like a Reebok Classic. Excellent. Almost feels broken in right from the jump. These are dope. I'm actually gonna give these away. These were not part of our 12 days of Christmas, but I'll slide them in. So what is that, 14 pairs of shoes now? I think so. Oops. So the one that I've worn right here, I've just worn the hell out of. And as you can see, they're durable as man. Like this stuff is not going anywhere anytime soon. So I don't even know when I'll be able to bust out these other colorways, but I will eventually. Uh, but basically the lugs on the new version are a lot thicker. I like them for two different reasons. One, obviously they're durable. So they're very thick pieces of rubber. However, they're carved out almost everywhere in between. So this actually adds for a lot of compression, which is really great for something that's technically a really old school type of tech, which is low tech. There really isn't any in this shoe. It's just all foam, but you would never know. No, it feels really good. You'll also notice in the forefoot area, there's little cutouts in the rubber, like little tiny holes. That's actually for flexibility. So not only is it to allow the rubber to flex, but it's allowing the midsole to flex a little bit better as well, especially when it's thicker like this compared to the OG style version. And then there's this little crash pad in the back right there that again, allows for more compression in the heel. Super, super comfortable shoe. I cannot state that enough. Like that New Balance 990 V6 hella comfortable. The one that I was talking about in that video, which I think is the V2 or the V3, I can't remember. They all really look the same to me. They're not comfortable. I don't know why. They look cool, but they're not comfortable. The insoles are pretty basic. They're not anything special, but the rest of the shoe is so comfortable that this doesn't bother me. The midsole itself, again, very chunky compared to the original, but they're very similar as far as their tech is concerned, both of which feature EVA wedge midsoles, which is what you see here. So all of this bottom layer is EVA. This particular one is actually dual density. So you got 
got a little bit firmer in the back. You got a bouncier one in the forefoot. And then they also have the end cap system, much like the 574. And that little wedge back there is made out of polyurethane. So an even more dense, but still bouncy type of foam, depending on how you implement it. Obviously Jordan brand uses it for a little bit different reasons. So there's a little bit firmer, but this one right here is supposed to be for pronators. So it's supposed to kind of like level yourself out when these were actual running shoes, which they are not anymore. And so that's basically the setup right there. So I think that's awesome. Obviously that look carries itself through with every single colorway. So whether you're rocking with these maroon ones, these ultra dad gray ones or the light gray ones, like they're all gonna kind of be the same look and feel. Now the materials on these guys are different, obviously per colorway. So all of these ones are textiles and suedes. Their suede is just great, man. Like this is just top notch stuff. It wears really well too. I know that this particular colorway is real light so you can see all the scuffs and everything. These two darker ones are gonna be able to withstand that a little bit better. Whereas this, uh, I don't know what color to call this, like a cream and navy, but this one's all leather. And then this 574 is actually, again, their eco line. So it's supposed to be vegan friendly, uh, which is what that little tag is for. But having something this thick and chunky with all of these premium materials still be breathable with that textile on there is just, it's key. Like, that's awesome. Look at how nice these look, man. This is a pretty ass colorway. Look at that toe. That's, a, that's the sleekest damn slant ever, man. I love it. It's so nice. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, they do fit true to size. Whatever you typically wear, that's exactly what I would go with. Well, since I'm here usually to do the giveaway, but you've already done the giveaway for our Discord community, I would like to say, nice sweater. It's a hoodie, but thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing a sweater. No, it's a crew neck, but... That's a sweater. No, it's not. Feel it. It feels just like yours. Well, hold on. What the f*** is a sweater then? <laughs> a sweater is like my Stranger Things sweater, where it's like knitted. Okay. So this okay, is I, a crew, all right. and this, this is, is a hoodie. hoodie. Gotcha. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Okay. I like that. I like it a lot. Not only is this new design available, but we have one other one as well. So yeah, this is our History Over Hype, which I think is really cool. So uh, yeah, basically the whole concept behind History Over Hype is that we all get hyped for something, but there's a lot of history usually tied into whatever that product is, say like the Cardinal 7s. The Cardinal 7s have come back, but a lot of people don't know the history behind it. They're just hyped that it's an OG colorway. They don't actually know why. It's just that the brands and the marketing is telling them, go buy it. And that's lame. So if you're hyped about something, learn its history and so that's why we emphasize history over hype uh, not only that they look awesome same style hoodie just different colors and same type of uh, screen print application these though we do have uh, t-shirt options available as well and I alternated the design on them so like the black tee comes with the black tape but the black hoodie comes with the white tape <laughs> But yeah, I think that these are awesome. I don't know what you guys think. You, I'd like to know, but I think that these are dope. Also, if you're gonna pick one, which one? Which one do you like? I like that one. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it because you're into the chunky stuff too, or you just think that they look better? I just, I like it all around. Do you agree with me with the toe? Yeah, I can see it. I think it's a toe cap. I can see it's, that It's too. a weird like illusion. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the same toe cap, but it looks cooler with the pointy toe thing instead of the wide one. I concur. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the support. Happy holidays to everyone. Have a good one.